work of the organization with chapters uh, the chapter 11 subjects math okay and today's topic is last class we discussed about the area of uh, triangles rectangles trapezium as a random bus now today we discuss about the words area of trapezium okay, today we discuss about the area of area of trapezium know that's what's what is called trapezium already you know you know that trapezium is what is one pair of sides are what parallel a trapezium having one pair of uh, what sides are parallel and what is what is trapezium and today we will discuss about the area of trapezium and first to do the first figure of trapezium yeah it means one pair of sides Parallel. What is called trapezium? We know that the quadrilateral means the quadrilateral means the quadrilateral means at least a pair of opposite sides. At least a pair of at least how many, how many pairs? Just a quadrilateral having at least one pair, one pair of opposite sides, one pair of opposite sides. Okay, one pair of opposite sides parallel, parallel is called trapezium. What is called trapezium? That means we know that trapezium having only one pair of sides, that is opposite sides, is always what's parallel and we can see if we first then AB is, is already a right here, AB is parallel with DC. Here AB is parallel with DC, then we in the bigger given, given figures, AB parallel DC. Let AB is a A unit, if we take AB, AB is A unit, if we take the left, okay, then left. A B, A B equal to, if you take what's equal to A units, suppose A units, small units, then it is parallel, D C, then D C, D C equal to what? B unit. Here A B is A unit, then D C equal to what's B units, other, both are what's parallel. So we can say that, draw A B D E, what's perpendicular A B, A B, D E, Perpendicular setting. When we draw here, yes, perpendicular. Suppose see here. Here is the perpendicular for 90 degree. Here DC. Then we perpendicular AE. When we draw, what's C? DE. Here is the words A, D, C, D. AE perpendicular. Then here see. AE is perpendicular of what's DC. Then we can write that word. If we draw AE perpendicular. Or what? D C. Okay. Here A B is parallel D C. Then A A E is the perpendicular. Perpendicular. It is the sign of what? Perpendicular. It is perpendicular means what? Always it is form 90 degree. What? It is form 90 degree. And here is the word. Also we can construct another another side from here. And we can draw. Okay. Also our sides. Perpendicular here. Yeah. Then AB, AB, AD, then you can CF. CF, then here AF. Here is the word CF is there. So we can what's BF. Here CF is the word, or CF is the perpendicular of DC. Then we can write that so here CF. CF perpendicular what's A. B is there now. A is perpendicular of DC and C is perpendicular of AB. Okay, clear about it. So when we join first D, when we join A and C, when we join A C, if we join, if we join 
AC. Okay. If if we join AC, then we got what shares. Let's then we can join. Uh, we can know that. Then what happens? Here is the triangles. Okay. That is what then DE equal to BF is H unit. And you can get that shares. DE equal to FB. Okay. Here DE equal to what? FB is an H unit. It means height. It is known as the height of the what? Height of the trapezium. Okay. That means if you are able to know the heights, then it should be what? Then we can say say that what here AE AE equal to CF is H unit. Okay. That is the what? That is the means H unit. Okay. It is known as the what? Height of. It is known as the heights. It is also known as the heights of the first trapezium. Then we can construct on the heights. Then area of trapezium. Okay. So area of we can find the solution. Then area of area of trapezium. Area of trapezium was ABC. Then we can find A, B, C, D. Equal to what? Yes. That is the formula there that we we can say that one by two into A B into D C. Okay, one by half. Here two triangles there. Then area of triangle A D E. Area of triangle A D E plus area of triangle D B. So here first here A D E and B C F. Okay, here how many triangles we have got? Two triangles. Okay, then area of area of trapezium equal to Area of triangle first area of triangle A B C. We can say that area of area of triangle A B C A B C plus again another triangle was area of triangle A C B. Okay, then we can say that number another another triangle is what? Another triangle is A C B plus area of area of triangle. First triangle is what? A B C. Another triangle is what? A B C is there. So A B C or A C B. A triangle A B C or A C B. Okay. So here we got first two triangles. As that means area of ABC and area of ABC. Then we know that the area of triangle equal to what? One by two into base into height. And when we find the area of triangles ABC, here is the what? What is the formula? When you got the formula, then here is the what? DC. DC is the base and AE is the height. And here also ABC. Here is the AC. That is the height. Okay. Now how can you uh, obtain the formula? See the rules. Okay. Here, the number is here. The area of the triangle ADC. ADC means which triangles? ADC equal to. You can write that one by two into what? Then base is what? DC. DC into height is what? AE. AE. Okay. Plus. See. Plus or plus another triangle. So another triangle means unit is unit is what's B B base into what? Then we can see here is the base is what? Base is also B C and height is C F. Okay. So one by two into what? Base equal to what? B C B C base is there into C F. B C into C F. That means here we obtain a height is here, height is C F and base is also what? B C. Here also base base is D C. If both the boys are the same, it's clear about it. Then we can say that we can say that first one by two into B C plus A E plus one by two into B C plus C E. Clear about it. Now when we obtain, then that means what? B C. Here B C is the what? Base. And A E is the what? Heights. Then we can write it. Okay. Okay. Here we form a triangle. That is what A C B. In A C B base is what? Here A B. Now this is okay. Their base is what? A, A B. We can write the base is A B. So here it is A B equal to A unit and B equal to A unit B unit. So we can write here this A unit. So we can write it and B unit. Okay. So here one by two into B C equal to which units? B 
into v equal to what? H units into H plus. 1 by 2 into A equal to which units? Uh, here, A units A. C equal to H units into H. C here, 1 by 2 into B into H plus 1 by 2 into A into H. Clear about it? Now then we got here, two sides, that means A plus B. Here, how many sides is here? Two sides, A plus B, A units plus B units. That side the words parallel sides. Then we can obtain a formula. That was how we can obtain formula is here. See now. Here, 1 by 2. Then, 1 by 2 into A plus B. That means A unit plus B unit. Okay. A plus B. Because two sides are there. Into heights. Okay. Into heights. Heights square units. Square units. What is the formula of the formula of a trapezium? Formula of area of a trapezium. Then area of a trapezium is equal to 1 by 2 in A plus B. That means the two opposite, two opposite sides that are parallel and two heights. Then we can easily find them. Also we can say that so as if you write writing your words, then we got the answer. That one is what's here. We can say that that means 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into sum of parallel sides. Sum, sum of parallel sides. Sum of parallel side into heights. That means first sum of parallel parallel side into distance between them. Distance between them. Distance between them. Distance between them means first height. That we got. Okay. So uh, now we have obtained what? What is the what is the formula? Of, how can we find the area of trapezium? The area of trapezium is equal to what? One by two into sum of parallel sides into distance between them. The distance between that is the altitude. Altitude is that means the heights. Then we can say it is the heights or altitude. Clear about it? Uh, now we will take an example and find find the area of a trapezium. How you find the clear about it? How can you obtain it? Here we know that always the two parallel sides of two parallel sides. That means the uh, also the first we know that the first we find out the what the two, what are the parallel sides of the given trapezium. Then one by two into sum of the parallel side multiply altitude or the height or the or distance between the two parallel sides. Clear about it? What is the uh, how can you obtain it? Area of a trapezium. Now we we'll give an take an examples and find the area of trapezium. Okay. Now see the boards. We will find the area of trapezium. Area 
area of trapezium is called what's area of trapezium is given by area of trapezium is given by area of trapezium is given by there are what's measures given by measures this words in given by measure by a equal to what 1 by 2 into a plus b into h 1 by 2 into a plus b into h a plus b means what's the parallel sides here the two parallel sides is here 5 cm and 10 cm here the 7 cm and 9 cm we know that but 1 by 2 into sum of the parallel sides into h h means what's the height then here height is given what's a cm and here height one one of the parallel side is 7 cm and another side is 9 cm the we know that in a what is known how to find so 1 by 2 into a inverse means what the a inverse is 7 cm and we can write here 7 cm plus b into what was given 9 cm now height is given the centimeter multiply the centimeter okay Again, 1 by 2 into 7 into 9. How much? 16 centimeter plus into 3 centimeter. Now, number cancel because 2 is there. Denominator is 2. 2 is a 16. 2 is a 16. So, 3 centimeter into 3 centimeter equal to 3 is a how much? 24 centimeter square. Then here we find the area. Area of A that given, we know that then what the formula is? One by two into sum of sum of the sides into heights. So here the two sides are how much? Seven centimeter and nine centimeter. Height is given three centimeter. Then seven plus so one by two into plus three. So what? Seven centimeter plus nine centimeter into three. Here one by two into seven plus nine equal to sixteen into three. Here two is a sixteen. We just cancel over the divide by two. Then eight eight is a twenty four. Uh, eight is a twenty four centimeter. Then here. Area of a what's area of a trapezium is what's 24 square centimeter or 24 centimeter square. Clear about this? Now we will find the area of second B question. Okay, area of second question. Also we know that same formula is here for here C. Now we can write it by here solution for B. We know that already the area of the trapezium is given by B given by B equal to what? One by two into A plus B into height. Here is the first. So parallel sides measure of parallel sides is ten centimeter and eight centimeter. And the heights of a trapezium is what? Six centimeter. Then we put the two two feet in the formula one by two into A equal to what? Five centimeter. Height is five centimeter. B is equal to what? Ten centimeter. Height ten centimeter into height equal to what? Centimeter into this centimeter. There it is. One by two into five into ten. How much? Five into two ten equal to fifteen centimeter into six centimeter. Now number is divided by what? Two two one by two 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 is four two three is six. So divided by three, there is fifteen into three. Fifteen into three is fifteen centimeter into three centimeter. We make We know that that 15 into 3 equal to 45 centimeter square. So also we can find the first area of trapezium of given figure. Clear about it? How can we find if the figure is given and their measure is given? Then you use the formula 1 by 2 into a plus b into h, or or 1 by 2 into sum of opposite parallel sides into h. Then you can get the first uh, area of the trapezium is given. Clear about it? Now we'll take another examples. For the first area of trapezium, okay. Now we'll take an another examples.
फिगर ओके ए बी सी डी के ट्राइंगल ट्रैपीजियम ए बी सी डी इज ट्रैपीजियम इज ट्रैपीजियम इन व्हिच एडी इन व्हिच एडी
18 minus 8 equal to what? 10 centimeter. So, this is equal to what? 8 centimeter. Okay, clear about this? How can you got the is the uh, is he, how can you got C? Here, AD is given and BC is given. We draw a perpendicular on BC, here the BC. Then we want to find, here we got a radical triangle. If you want to find, find the words, area of radical triangle, then here, if hypotenuse is given and the base, and the base is not given or the height is not given, then we need to find the base and height. So, here, if we can find it, then BE equal to AD because it is a square so BC minus EC equal to BC minus AD so 18 minus 10 equal to 8 centimeter clear about this how many by then we know that this one is the here is the base here is the height here is here is the per P and here is the H that means H square equal to H square plus H square then we can write this first H square this one B square and this one B square. We know that as a equal to H square plus H square, when you find it B square, B square equal to H square minus B square. That means B square equal to what? D E square. D E square equal to what? Here we can say that D E D square equal to A B C square minus B C square minus E C square. E C square. Clear about this? B C square dc square okay minus 8 centimeter we got a dc square minus c square that means here d means what's here h yeah. d c here d and d okay s that means i also perpendicular height is there so here the hypotenuse is equal to hypotenuse and b square so here dc square so we can find it d square so dc equal to what we know that here dc equal to 17 centimeters we write here 17 square. Now, E C equal to find it first 8 centimeter. So we find it here 8 centimeter. Now 17 equal to 289. Square of 17 equal to 17 equal to 289. Square of 8. Square of 8 equal to 64. Now subtract it. Okay. 9 minus 4 equal to 5. 8 minus 2 equal to but 8 minus 6 equal to 2 and 225. D is equal to 225. So D equal to D equal to 225 root over. Okay. 225 of root over. Now D equal to we got that 15. Okay. 15. Then we find the D. Now there D equal to what? 15. We got the height of a what? Trapezium. Then here is the height. What is the height of a trapezium? The height of a trapezium equal to 15 centimeters. Okay. 15 centimeters is like this. How can you find the heights? Now we can easily find the area of a trapezium. So, clear about this. I will explain again. It's, you can see the board according to question in the adjoining figure. A, B, C, D, trapezium and which AD parallel BC. Say here AD parallel BC. Now, here the measure is given AD equal to 10 centimeters, BC equal to 18 centimeters, and BC equal to what? 17 centimeters. Now, here we draw the heights of a triangle, we got a radical triangle, that is DE. DE is drawn. Now, we want to find the BC, when you find the area of a triangle, height of a triangle, area of a triangle, so we know that what? BC equal to what? BC minus DE. Here we choose this man and also BC. BC minus B, and the BC equal to what? BC equal to AD is divided, so B minus what? BC, AD minus what? BC is here, so BC equal to B is there now. So we can find the first. If you want to find CE, then BC minus BC. That means BE equal to what? AD is here, so BE. BC minus B is there. So BC minus BE equal to BC minus AD, AD minus 10 equal to 8 centimeter. Now you got the words here, perpendicular height is words here from 8 centimeter. Now you find the B, this is given that this is equal to find it now. So we know that Pythagoras theorem, H square equal to B square plus B square, so D square minus D square equal to e, e, minus EC square, 70 square minus square square equal to 70 square is words, 289, 18 square is words, 64 and 225. Then D equal to root over of 225 equal to 15 centimeter. Now you got the height of a trapezium. Now you find the area of trapezium. See the boards. Okay.
Here we know that what is the total of area of Cartesian? Area of Cartesian, we know that area of Cartesian equal to 1 by 2 into a plus b into heights. A plus b into heights. We know that. So here, 1 by 2 into what is a a is what is here? 10 centimeter. Then you can write here 10 centimeter. 10 cm. Here b is what? 15 centimeter. B units is another. So that means b units means what? The other parallel sides of other sides. Okay. Then we can write here 15 centimeter. Now into height equal to what? 815 centimeter. Here in the height, 15 centimeter b is b equal to b is the height of a trapezium. Now we can find the 1 by 2 into 28 into 15. 14, okay. 15 goes on 60, 0, 6, 15 goes on 15 and 6, 210 centimeter square. Here is the area of a trapezium. Area of a trapezium is first 210 centimeter. Clear about it? If this type of question is given, then how can we find the answer? Uh, always we find the words. And row a perpendicular of the opposite parallel sides and find the answer. Clear about it? How can we find the area of a trapezium? Also, we, we learn the find out the formula of the words. Trapezium, okay. So, dear students, today we learn uh, words. Find the area of a trapezium. I hope all of you understood it properly. You have taken your own examples and do try to do yourself. Okay. And remains uh, numbers we will do in our next video session. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day.